extreme. For more information, visit tvaddons.ag. What's up guys, it's XBM Connect here, and in this video I'm going to show you an add-on called Navi X, which is a very old add-on that just keeps updating when it can, because sometimes it's down for a little bit, but when it comes back up, it's great to use. Now, Navi X is developed by the team Navi X, and now partaking is tvaddons.ag. The version right now is 4.0. Now, NaviX, just think if you're new to it, it's what XBMC uses before, I guess you could say. I used to use this on my uh, PS3 and uh, computer and etc. But think of this as one big playlist, which all the great developers and playlist makers came from here as well too. So, what you'll get is uh, NaviX start here, browse history. You can save favorites within the add-on, and then your Cody, and then add-on updates, and then obviously news and support. Now, um, on the side right here, home, this is where your favorites will be within the NaviX, not into your uh, XBMC or Cody uh, favorites. Obviously, you got your downloads folder, and then you can sign in, which uh, I'll link the website below on the description, and how to install this uh, NaviX um where to get it as well so let's get started let's go ahead and go to NaviX start here now you can do your own playlist obviously you can search NaviX network site scrapers user list help latest media which is the latest latest ones uh, up to date like minute by minute and then the most updated recently seven days and then 24 hours now if you're wondering if you could change the look of this well you're kind of stuck to it because this is, has been their uh, platform and UI for the longest time. So if you go <coughs> go to it, it's basically like this. You, you, there's no other way you could view it other than that. So I just leave it at that. So what it is, it's just basically uh, all these. And you can see when it came, uh, how long it got updated. It was new three days ago. And then two days ago, four days ago. And now... I gotta say, you gotta be really careful if, um, through searching through these, it's it's just like a basically uh, a big add-on, as you can see that picture. Anyway, um, if you go click on one of these, it should bring up, uh, in one of the folders, should bring up another list, which hopefully this comes up. The problem with NaviX is they just can't keep their servers, um alive the whole time because so many people are on it I mean this is where mostly the um, playlist comes from all the links and etc wherever they grab it so hopefully that kind of makes sense so I'm trying to see if I could pick one of these so in one of those folders you can see um, there's about 199 entries in here and all these now what's cool is that you can see right here for instance, this one, and then you'll see the link, so, uh, where it's coming from. So, all these links, uh, you don't have to pick a link, it just chooses, so, this server, or the, this list pretty much just does that, uh, website from where it gets it from. Now, it, it's kind of cool where you could, uh, there's a lot of info on this folder, if you got requests and etc., and you can contact them in, in any way, so, a lot of it is, there's live TV, there's uh, on-demand stuff, uh, movies, TV shows, and etc. There's just tons of, tons of content in here. You can do seven days, which will list you whole seven days of it. And then kind of the same thing. Now what's really cool is that you can save uh, the favorites within. So let's say, for example, this one. And let's say if you wanted to do... Click on the letter C, and then this will come up. Now you can do uh, play, recent. Now if you wanted to save it to the favorites, um, add selected items to favorites. So let's go ahead and click that. You can name it whatever you want. I just usually leave it at default. Now if you go all the way back and go to favorites, and then there it is. It's straight on through. Now this is caches it, caches it in, so you don't have to like 
wait for that server to go up and then if you remembered a list that you went to that you couldn't um, figure out what the name was then you could browse the history and then you could look into it obviously I haven't really messed with it um, my Cody is just basically all your local files and all the stuff that you have used add-on updates uh, before 4.0 which is just came out like recently so um, make sure you update your NaviX add-ons and then these are all the other platforms as well so let's go back to it now I'm not going to explain latest, latest media entries these are pretty much all the same but broken down now NaviX networks uh, you can get into uh, YouTube music podcasts and etc so for music it should bring up like radios and stuff like that now site scrapers is um, basically pretty much like free cable um, they use all these sites for instance uh, let's do let's do this one and it just collects all the videos into that site that that's in so hopefully this doesn't take too long on, on doing it so you can see that these are all from crackle.com I'm not gonna go play anything uh, any of it so that's for you to explore and then users uh, list basically if you know a user on here which uh, you could get from all the other add-ons the playlist makers maybe their their playlist is on here as well which is a great thing So, give that a few seconds. So, as you can see, a little bit of a server problem. Um, then, the search, you can search within the whole NaviX Extreme or within the search in all of these. So, think of it as one big add-on just collected into NaviX. And, I personally have stopped using it, but... Um, if you're you're new to XBMC or Cody, I would recommend you checking it out. This is where it kind of all started, uh, my opinion anyway. But so that's pretty much NaviX, and uh, to install it, you'd have to use your TV add-ons uh, add-on installer from Programs, and then you'll see your add-on installer right here, and you just go to Featured Add-ons, and you can see right here NaviX right there on the you can see then you can install it and then you should be good to go uh, make sure you click the like button and visit their website and I'll have the uh, download link for NaviX and hopefully you like this video thanks for watching make sure you visit NaviXStream.com and TV